Hey yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube family? It's your man Sandy, aka Diamond in the Rough, and welcome to another review. Let's go. Alright, so on today's review, I want to review this bad boy right here the lockbox. Now the good thing is it's uh, it's really easy to lock and it's really easy to unlock. First thing you have to do is, you know, obviously by default the passcode is 000, right? So then you open the container and if you notice on the right side where the container with the where the handle is, you'll see that the the little switch is on the A position. You have to flick it to the B position. Once it's on the B position, you could put any number on the combination and set it as your password. So I'm going to put 888. All right. At that point, I open the container again and then I flip the switch back to A. Once I switch it back to A, that 888 is now set as the new password. Um, and if you ever want to change the password, you obviously have to open it first and then change the password again. So if you're thinking maybe someone's, unless someone knows the password, they can't change it. So that's the little security you have there. You have to know the password if you want to change the password. So far, I mean, I, this box, I've kept it in the freezer because that's where my you know ground chicken is. So I use this specifically for the for the freezer for freezer use, and it holds up, no problems. I mean, I have no issues with it. The lock mechanism works. I can open, I can lock it. Everything works fine. It works great. I liked it so much, and so did my wife. My wife really liked it as well because after I used it, she sees how well it's working. She's like, she wanted one too for the refrigerator. This isn't meant for like high security. This isn't meant for like, you know, I wouldn't put money in here. I wouldn't put like any kind of anything else or documents in here. No, no, no. This is just simply a storage container. Maybe you won't put med like medication in here. You know, maybe you won't keep it away from kids. If something in here, um, uh, your older parents that maybe having dementia or maybe are forgetful or, uh, you know, maybe uh, aren't aware, as aware as they used to be. You know, you want to keep them safe, uh, you know, but you still need to keep your belongings or something in there. You know, you'd keep it in there. So now what we paid for uh, the locker box was $39.99 for just one. Uh, I believe that's the same price uh, at the time of this recording as well. Now, if I want to give it a rating, maybe three out of five, um, that's mainly just because of the price, I think. It's kind of expensive. I, I don't see $40 worth of quality in the product. I don't like the, the air gaps that they have on the product. You know, like you could, you know, put a, a needle or, I mean, you could put anything in the sides because there's these gaps uh, that lead into the inside. You could easily break this or drill into it or something like that. It doesn't feel as robust as I think a $40, um, you know, cabinet safe would be or, you know, a safe like that, a lock box would be. So if you are looking to buy this product, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, what you're planning on using it for, you know, why you're buying it. Uh, did you enjoy it? Is it working out for you? What do you think? Is it worth the price? Um, I want to get your feedback because I kind of want to know what you're thinking too, right? These are the, like I'm buying this stuff so that I could use it for my uh, my own purposes or our own purposes. But uh, when, does it help you guys? You know, does it help you? Let me know. I want to thank you all for watching. Till the next review, peace and God bless.